Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Um, yeah, basically, um, for about almost two years actually, um, I haven't been working on my post on uh, USSL series. But I just sort of lost motivation on it. I I was busy to a large extent. At some points my tablet was broken on others. Um, yeah, I. I just had no motivation. That's the that's the main reason um, I did not uh, work on the series anymore. Uh, I did plan to resume it at some point, and this is what I'm gonna do now. Um, I'm gonna resume the post on USSL series, not not uh, this week yet, um, and plus my tablet is broken, so I have to fix that. Um, when I will fix my tablet. Uh, which will happen in about uh, maybe uh, two or three weeks from now, um, maybe four weeks. And then yeah, I'll resume my post on use the series, and I wanna I wanna show you um, my plans for or uh, the resumption of my post on use the series. Um, it will I will upload seven videos. Um, I actually I'm not quite sure how many I've uploaded. I think so far I think eleven. Yeah, around 11. So I'm gonna upload around seven more videos, maybe eight, maybe six, uh, we have to see. Um, and I'm gonna cover those topics. So episode eight will be a response to Finball's video uh, called, uh, a Finball video called Khrushchev's Attack on Stone. We will debunk that. I actually already started it like two, almost two years ago, around Actually, no, it was one year ago. Yeah, I started working on it like one, one year ago. So, yeah, but then I kind of, you know, uh, pushed it to the side. I did not work on it for a long time, and now I'm going to resume work on it. Um, from what I remember, it's actually 70% done, or at least not 70, but like 60% done or 70. Per does, doesn't matter. You get that point. Um, it, it's most of it is already done. Okay. Uh, so working on that one uh, will be easy and it won't take much time to complete it, I think. Although it will be a pain in the ass to finish it anyway. Um, then we'll move on to episode 9, which will be a response to Infrared. Uh, call, uh, a video called uh, St Stalin's uh, Dem Democratic Legacy, if I'm not mistaken, by Infrared. We'll, we'll debunk that too. It will be a response. Those two, the first two are response videos I wanted to make uh, for a very long time. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, that's interesting. I actually want I wanted to make I wanted to make those responses right when those videos came out, but I did I, I kind of my tempo broke and then I had no motivation. And you get the point. So, but now I'm gonna make those kind of overdue replies. Um, but still. Uh, better, better uh, at one point than ever, right? <laughs> well, then the third video I'll upload will be episode three, seven, part two. Yeah, I know the pacing is kind of weird, uh, but still, um, I I start working on episode eight right when it came out, right when the Finball video came out. So I had I I actually started with episode seven, part two before that. But um, I actually think that episode, I think that actually uh, Fimble's video, uh, Khrushchev's The Tech on Stone, was actually <laughs> made on purpose uh, to piss me off. Because uh, right before that, I actually debated Fimble uh, both uh, on this in Discord DMs uh, where he actually gave me props. Um, maybe I'll put that in my next video or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I will do that. Maybe I won't. Um, though I'm. I I would love to debate like Finbo um on YouTube too like um like a have a video debate like I like how I did with uh Comrade Reese for example and uh Comrade Hellas I want to do it with Finbo and uh, eventually uh infrared too and with infrared I'll actually uh debate mainly China that's my main goal um um spe specifically Xi Jinping and maybe Jiang Zemin. Um, and post on you saw too, yes, but our main disagreements are on uh, Xi Jinping and Jiang Zemin. So, yeah, that, that yeah. Um, 
yeah and i actually m made the um I, I once made a response to fimble 2 uh another time the Khrush on the khrushchev scoop video which was absolutely bullshit um i think that fimble actually started working on his uh uh, uh, um, Khrushchev's attack on, on Stalin video right after uh, I um, made my response to Vinbo's Khrushchev coup video. I think I think I think this video is like, well. I think this video was oriented to, towards me to give me a middle finger, but yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll I'll debunk uh, this new video Khrushchev's attack on Stalin, which is already two years old too almost two years old um yeah anyway back to the point uh, episode uh, my third video will be episode seven part two uh, which will be about the soviet albanian split and uh the quote-unquote soviet dprk split there were also tensions there i'm gonna go through them as well the reasons behind the, the as to why they happened uh, the true ones uh, they didn't happen because of a bad U.S. is our vision. Is no, that, that that's not the reason. Um, um, I'm also gonna I'm also gonna add some things I forgot to mention about uh, the Soviet Soviet split there. Uh, in the fourth, I'm I'm not sure if I'm gonna upload this, but I might make a uh, an epi episode ten where I cover the Andropov Chinyinko period. Um, essentially, from Brezhnev's death onwards in 1982 to uh, around uh, Cherninko's death, Gorbachev's takeover, uh, 1982 to 1985. This will, this if I do decide to make this video, I'm I'm recently I've been working again. I've been uh, I've been uh, reading up on um, the Soviet Union more. Uh, especially on the Andropov, Cherninka, and Gorbachev periods, respectively. And, you know, I have, I have, the more I read about Andropov and Cherninka, the more I'm interested in them. It, I don't, I don't exactly like those two leaders, um, uh, and the impact they had on history, but, uh, over, overall, I think those, those are at least two, two interesting historical figures, to say the least. So maybe uh, I'll take the time to cover the, this period in one episode. Um, and if I won't uh, do, maybe, you know, and I'll, so maybe I will do this, maybe I won't, I have to see. Uh, but I'll definitely make uh, uh, an uh, episode. Also, if you're wondering why it says episode 10 twice there, because, well, again, I might do uh, the Andropov Cherenko video, maybe I won't, covering the period specifically in detail. Um, if, yeah, anyway. Um, then the fifth video, which I will definitely upload on the other hand, it will, it's basically gonna be about everything that I forgot to mention. Like, I, I, I must say, I did, I did forget quite some things. Um, or at least people, or at least there were things in my video, uh, which, people criticize me for not mentioning for example uh like for example i've i've had someone tell me that the um um central committee if i'm not mistaken it was um under stalin wasn't 100% bureaucrat well actually it was the uh, spoiler spoilers yeah it was i'm going to make mention a lot of other things there too like i've also said I've also seen someone, uh, some Reddit comments, uh, misinterpret my uh, video on state state of the old people. Like um, they they were saying that they admitted that it's Stalin's fury and stuff like that, um, but they then said that it was the biggest mistake in Soviet history and that it's. Uh, uh, Stalin's biggest mistake and that uh, Khrushchev and Brezhnev shouldn't have. Uh, uh, clinged onto it and should have corrected it and said um they they um complete because they 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 call it a mistake because they think that um the Stalin saying that 
uh, class struggle was abolished entails too that ideological struggle was abolished. That's not true. Um, ideological struggle, uh, the existence of ideological struggle and ideological antagonism inside the Soviet Union uh, was upheld uh, by Khrushchev and Brezhnev. They, uh, the, uh, what I mean is that uh, they still uh, fought, fought revisionists and stuff like that, purged them. Um, we'll actually talk about this a lot um, in the episode 8 video. Um, I've actually prepared stuff like this already. Um, so if you're if you're gonna eventually watch episode eight, you you know which, um, which part I was at, um, b before uh, I stopped working on it for a long time. Um, yeah. So um, as for um, yeah, just everything. That I thought is worth mentioning. I think it's uh, it's gonna be certain things. Maybe maybe if I do make the end drop of Trinko period, I'll perhaps uh, merge uh, the everything I forgot to mention video with the uh, end drop of Trinko period video. Maybe I'll make it all into one episode. I I have to see uh, on how on uh, how long those things are gonna be and stuff like that. Um, okay, anyway, so the sixth video is going to be um, episode 3, part 3. Um, again, weird pacing, but uh, you have to understand also my reasoning behind this one. Um, keep in mind, I wa I was, I'm covering the Soviet Union chronologically in my post on the USSR series. Um, we start with the Khrushchev year period. We start... Um, with uh, things uh, which um, Maoists and Hojoists attack uh, Khrushchev for and stuff like that. And then we move on to the Brezhnev period and then we're gonna move on to the shit period. Um, <laughs> to the Gorbachev period. Is the, th that's the shit period, the Gorbachev period. Um, yeah, we have to go chronologically. I'm going chronologically like that. So, and since episode three is all about destalinization and restalinization, um, uh, it's it's episode three part one covers Khrushchev's quote unquote destalinization. Episode three part two covers Brezhnev's quote unquote restalinization, which was basically a uh, spoiler spoiler alert. Um, just not really. Well, it was re restalinization in some in some way. Um, Brezhnev restored uh, Stalin's um, uh, role in World War II, like his role was praised again in, in uh, World War II. Um, yeah, that was essentially restalinization stuff like that. Uh, it mean it mainly concerned World War II. There weren't big change. There weren't any other big changes. Um, yeah, so, yeah, and episode three, part three, it's going to be Gorbachev's desalinization. Since we're going to cover the end of Gorbachev period, I want to start, start it with Gorbachev's desalinization, of which, um, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler alert, it will be, uh, it was way more radical than Khrushchev's desalinization. Khrushchev still praised Stalin, and, like, in late 1956, I'm going to make a video on this too at some point, um, I'm gonna cover this too at some point. Maybe I'll say it um, in uh, episode eight. I don't know. Maybe in uh, the episode ten, uh, ten video. Everything I forgot to mention. Uh, I have to see. But basically, in late 1956, after the secret speech, not the secret speech happened in the first half of 1956. Um, after the secret speech, but in late 1956, uh, Khrushchev, Khrushchev. Uh, said that um, without being a Stalinist, you can't be a Marxist. So that's a massive middle finger to Trotskyists and whatever. And shows that uh, Khrushchev, Khrushchev uh, really upheld Stalin still. Uh, and there was, and like, Stalin was not denounced, right? Um, and like I said in episode 3, part 1, uh, Stalin's role in collectivization, even in the secret speech, was praised Stalin's role in uh, industrializing the Soviet Union and building a socialist centralized planned economy in um, 
uh, a lot of things um, in the ideological struggles of the 1920s, which, um, uh, you know, uh, beat the Buharnites, the Zinovievites, the Kamenevites, and the Trotskyists, Khrushchev priest down throw in that, um, in, in his uh, struggle for power and stuff like that. Um, Molotov of Ribbentrop was also praised by Khrushchev. Um, what else? The wind stone throw in the winter war and whatever. Uh, yeah, a lot of things. Like it's it's a whole list. And Stone's theoretical contributions to Marxism, Leninism. I, it's a whole list. Like, okay, I'm not gonna keep spoiling. Just watch episode three, part one, and part two too, please. Um, I forgot to mention some things in episode three, part one, which I later mentioned in episode three, part two. Um, uh, so yeah, um, yeah, we will cover Gorbachev's desonization in episode of Part 3, which was a complete announcement Stalin. Stalin was then compared to Hitler under Gorbachev, and yeah, more on that later. Uh, <laughs> uh, so episode 7, I'm, I'm gonna fucking rage, I'm, I'm gonna rage quit during the Gorbachev videos, I, I just can't. <laughs> well, episode, uh... Episode 11, that's going to be the seventh video. I'm, I'm not sure if I'll split uh, episode 11 in two or one video. I'll, I'll have to see. Uh, it will be either one uh, video, episode 11 that is, or two. It will either be one or two parts. Okay, so the 11th of episode will cover the very end of the Soviet Union. We'll cover Gorbachev. The revision is Gorbachev. I do not like Gorbachev. I was asked this question before. Gorbachev was a fucking revisionist asshole. <laughs> yeah, Gorbachev was, um, yeah, uh, terrible. Um, we'll cover Gorbachev's reforms. We'll go into we'll go we'll into his economic reforms, um, like Perestroika. We'll go into um. Glasnost, we will go into quote unquote democratization, we'll go into the whole thing, and uh, we will also cover how his economic reforms um, ruined the USSR, it made it collapse. People, um, people know this that Gorbachev ruined the USSR with his re economic reforms and whatever, they know that, but they don't know the details, they don't know how they ruined uh, the USSR exactly, you know, right? Gorbachev restored capitalism. Case point over. No, it's it's not as easy as that. Um, we have to analyze what exactly was bad of um, uh, okay. That, that doesn't matter. I'm spoiling too much. When um, yeah, we we'll covered the shortages, how bad they were, and which co which were caused by the restoration of capitalism, which people often don't realize. We cover um, the exact reforms which restore capitalism and abolish central planning and whatever. Okay, uh, and that will. I don't know how I how I will actually call episode eleven. Will I will I call call it the Gorbachev period? Will I call call it the Gorbachev's reforms, Gorbachev's economic? Okay, maybe not economic reforms, but will I call it Perestroika? Will I call it the collapse of the USSR? I don't know. I have to see. Um, I probably will go with with uh, what I wrote there. If 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 that's not if that won't be. If the if that if that will be too much for YouTube title, then um I will just call it uh the episode eleven the collapse of the USSR, um yeah so uh yeah this I hope you are excited about this uh resumption, um when I will resume it uh it will be again as I as I said maybe in two weeks around basically in around two two three to four weeks. Because I have to first repair my tablet, right? Which broke not long ago. Um, yeah. If you want, you can send me some cash. Okay, I'm joking. I'm joking. But seriously, I, I'm, I can't repair my tablet right now, and and they kind of need money for it. Well, but yeah. Anyway, I'm, I am just uh, rambling. Uh, Thin air at this point, 
we are done with this video and yeah i hope you're gonna have a good day and goodbye yeah i'm really excited about this as you can see i hope you're excited too goodbye